Today we are here at the heart of the West Midlands at Rowan Precision. And Rowan are a CNC machine shop who specialise in accurate turning. They make some stunning components, so let's go inside and take a look. So first we're going to be talking about the Mazak Hyper Quadrex 150 MSY. So look at the part that's coming off this machine. Look at how complex it is, so much detail. It's got a octagon shape on there with a tapered end. You've got some face milling on there as well. Deep hole drilling, threading inside, grooving, everything that turning capabilities can cope for. If you have a look inside the machine, we've got an upper turret, lower turret, uh, main spindle, sub spindle. And as you can see, uh, on the left hand side, we're creating that octagon shape with a milling process. And just look at this tool right there. Have you ever seen a tool like that? Because I don't think I have. Now uh, they're using it to its maximum. It's pulling these, pulling these off in um, up one, up two. And it's just a stunning, piece of engineering. And now we're on the Citizen Mayano BNE51 MSY. And this is the component in question. This is actually a tricky material, 17.4 pH, and these slots are tied up to within microns. And if we can see, obviously the machine's not running at the moment, but it will be held, held in a spindle and it's being machined using the top and lower turret, obviously half in the cycle time. In fact, they are roughing on one turret and finishing on another. And this is the Citizen Mayano. They've got other Citizens in the shop floor, as well as an abundance of other machines. We're now in the section of sliding head technology, and we're standing in front of a Star SR20R Type A. And well, let's just have a look. Oh, God. Oh, I've got it open. So you can see inside all the tooling, that's going to be used on this part. And look how small these drills and M mills and spot drills are. So they're using really precise tooling and some really high end materials. They're not just using aluminiums and mild steels here either. They're using titanium, lots of high grade steels. So they need the machine to be working as fast as possible. They need the tooling to be working and the running lights out as well. So they need that confidence in the tooling to keep on running and keep on going. As you can see as well behind me, that they've also got bar feeders. Um, so if you think three meter bar, 30 plus bar, how many parts they're running day in, day out, all through the night, while we're at home sleeping, this machine is still running. So they've expanded their sliding head technology also with this Citizen Syncom M32. As you can see, it's running as we can speak, so we're not going to open the door because I don't want to get covered in oil. And also, it's a health and safety aspect to keep the door shut. This machine is making some quite irregular parts, actually, but it's churning and churning them out. As you can see, it is for um, a wires to go through, and it's just going to be clamped. So anything and everything this company is making. And I tell you what, the machine loved our GoPro so much that it sent it through and uh, it's ended up in the swarth bin. So Matt, Rome Precision, tell us a bit more about the company. Well, it's been going for 40 years, uh, being its 40th year next year. Um, it's a small to medium sized engineering company with a capacity to be a large company. Um, mm -hmm. We pride ourselves on thinking outside the box, using a lot of innovative uh, engineering techniques to get where we need to get um, every week and every day. Uh, if there's a problem, we use the right companies, the right people, and we surround ourselves by the right people. Mm -hmm. it gives us what we need to um, get the job done. Mm -hmm. they, um, Martin Barker, who's MD, has been here for the, the duration of the 40 years and has grown a, a company that's worth its weight in gold to finance, yeah. Yeah, and this is a typical machine tool, isn't it? You've got various brands, obviously there's a Citizen, you have Mazax, you have Stars and various others. So you presuming you want to get the jobs off in one if you can. Yeah, the, um, the, the less work we have to do after the job comes off, the, uh, the easier it is for everybody to get on with their day's work. Uh, if we have to keep on stopping and looking at stuff, deburring stuff, you know, re-tapping stuff off the machine, 
we all have them days, don't get me wrong, we have the, uh, the facilities to do that, but if the, the aim of any engineer is to get that job off as close to the finished drawing as possible, into the bucket, out the door to the customer, creating a, a small lead time to the customer, creating a high capacity for the machine, because we can get the, uh, the next job on. And I must admit, I've taken a, a good look around the machine shop today. It doesn't seem any easy stuff here, Matt. It all seems pretty difficult. No, no. Uh, believe you me, it would be nice to have some easy stuff now and again, but I suppose it keeps us on our toes, uh, keeps us fresh, keeps us in the game, and uh, it's what we need to do to survive as a company, um, doing the stuff that other companies sometimes shy away from. And just, and just finally, what we're looking at in terms of uh, industries, what types of materials, what types of bar capacities? Uh, industries who work in the automotive, medical, aerospace, um, defence, uh, fine goods. Um, we, the materials uh, we range from plastics like acetals, your nylons up into iridium platinum and your titaniums. Uh, so yeah, we don't again shy away from many materials. Obviously, there's some that nobody really wants to touch, but you know that's personal choice. And if you've got the uh, ability to do it, then do it. Vending machines are a real hot topic at the minute. Why not get one for your machine shop? It streamlines being able to know what tools they're needed to order. People know who's used the tool. If you're, you've got staff members who are keep breaking tools, you can see why. Is there a problem with the program? Is there different tooling that needs to be applied for on the, on the part? They're just a great system and I don't know why a machine shop won't have them. So thanks for listening to this week's Wharf and Chips. I'm going to talk into a donut because I'm allowed. <laughs>